Hi guys, George from Cyprus Insight and today we're visiting Omodos, a beautiful village up in the mountains. Right, Clotter Cap, let's go and have a look around. And we do know there's a monastery and a beautiful church down here and they uh, famous round there for its wine and the nuts and the beautiful bread that we'll be buying in a bit There's some lovely gift shops around here selling local handicraft. Right, let's continue on, shall we? There's some beautiful old houses fully restored around here and it is a popular tourist destination there's all the pickles look all sorts of stuff there There you go, all the pickles, guys. Well, we'll continue down the main square where there's tons of restaurants. Look. And loads of shops where you can buy this delish bread and dried bread and nuts right we've got the original cobbled streets look probably Roman and let's have a look at the dried bread look this is really nice and the nuts So Omodos took its name from Modos, which is take your time, or another version is Omo, which is road. Right, so we're coming up to the Monastery of the Holy Cross. Here it is right at the end of the cobbled road and we're going to go in and apparently there's a bit of the holy cross in this church, a tiny bit of the Holy Cross. Oh look, might have a bit of rain, that'd be nice. Look at that, cloud. We get about 760 centimetres of rain in this village a year. I don't think that's a lot. And that's the monastery, look. Where the monks would live. And we can go up there and have a look at the old doors. Here we are. Look at this arch. Very low, mind your head. And here's the monks' quarters. Look at that beautiful door. Looks like they've opened up a lace museum here at the top. 
don't think that was here before. Oh, look at that. Isn't that lovely? Look. Some beautiful lace work. Look, there's one being made. Yeah. And there's more around here, look. Here we are. And this is the Cypriot cloth. It's quite common over here, there, can you see? And when we did some urban exploring, if you can remember, we came across a four poster bed and it had a quilt on it with this material. And we did see the loom. Some old underwear, look. Looks very comfortable as it goes, doesn't it? All cotton. More tablecloths. All hand done. Look. And the thing we just passed there are handkerchiefs, look. Yeah. All dyed by hand and natural products. Another museum look, the treasury. Oh, we've got some beautiful icons in here and old Bibles. Look at them. Fantastic hand carving up there. These are from eighteen twenty AD. Wow, very old. Look at that, that's 200 years old, wow, that's amazing. Some of the gowns the priests will wear. Beautiful belt clasps. This icon is from 1866. This one, guys, is 500 years old. That's amazing. I wonder what it's on. Looks like a canvas. So let's go through this archway. Look, and this is what you'll find on the back of the altar at the church. And there's a Greek Bible. Here we are. There's a chalice. 
that you'll receive your Holy Communion. So this church was founded in the 4th century by St. Helen, the mother of Constantina the Great. All right, let's have a look at the church. Here we are, you can light a candle. What a beautiful church. So here we are. There's part of the Holy Cross there. You see? So that's part of the Holy Cross that Jesus was crucified on. There's the skull of the Apostle Philip. Right, so we're outside the church. What a beautiful church. I'm going to walk round the back of the church and you can see there's some millstones here on display there we are there's the bottom and there's the top part flick it over and that goes in the middle of that And the beautiful bell tower. And just over here in the monks quarters is another bell tower. You see that? Fantastic. Right, so what we're going to do guys is go through a few of these tiny roads. And have a look around. Some people enjoying their lunch. Mm, beautiful little alleyways. There's a glass workshop there. All handmade glass. Beautiful. And there's some old pots here, look. Just left behind, some storage pots, the massive ones. That's what they would put the grain in. And there's an old house there waiting for restoration. So look at this tiny alley. Now that is what you call a small road, hey guys? Don't want to take your car down here. Look at that. Nearly all the properties down here have been restored. Yep, there's a lot of egg roll tourism here, guys. <laughs> That's egg roll tourism, guys. But I call it egg roll tourism. Hello little dog, are you lost? You know I live here. Oh okay. Now there's a recently restored house. Look at that. Beautiful. It's more small alleyways. Which way we're going to go now? We'll go right. That's it. So we've got a new door here, and next to it is the original. There we are. 
A lot of these old houses have been made into restaurants and shops. Right guys, it's not a very big village. In 1881 there was only 572 residents and in 1931 it climbed up to 1,006 and now it's declined down to just over 300. So as I said most of the houses have been converted into shops and restaurants. Right, let's make our way back to the bread shop, shall we? And we're going to get some fresh bread. The, the dried bread, which is absolutely gorgeous, I think it's called Arcatina bread. And it's sweet bread. So it's fermented from chickpeas and then to the dough. And then they add cherry seeds rose water and that might make lovely and then it's baked and then they return it back to the oven guys to dry and it is really delish and there's a beautiful garden right in the middle beautiful here comes another lace shop guys you get your tablecloths, look. Runners for your table. Looks like they've even got handbags. And they're, they're 18 euros, not too bad. Right, let's continue down. Another beautiful alley. And there's a house at the top that's just been restored. Hello little cat. Yee hello. I'll show you where the bread shop is. Oh where is it? It's just down there. Okay, thank you. So here we are at the bakery, George's Bakery, and here's some of this dry bread. Let's have a taste, shall we? There he is, see? Mmm. Oh, it's delish. There's some of these nuts, look. Sweet nuts. And I think those ones are honey coated. Three packets for just 10 euros. Oh, there's the bread, look. Well, that looks delicious. Is it still warm? Yep, just out of the oven. Delish. Some Cypress honey. There's some lukumi there, look. They hang the nuts on the string and then pour the grape juice and slowly build it up. Right, what we do, we'll go down the steps at the bakery and that'll take us through to the winery. This is the dried bread with carob sticks. Looks like it tastes delish. Right down the steps towards the winery. There's some traditional Cypriot preserved fruits, look. 
in syrup they're really nice oh here we are there's the wines this is all local produce and of course we've got some Zivania here and of course guys local produced olive oil oh well, they've started to do cakes look at them it's quite busy today guys it is August and the car park down here is full up but it's all free car parking and there is a additional big car park at the top we've seen many a Cypriot ovens haven't we guys on our little trips where they bake the bread and do the gleftigal but this is the first one I've seen built into a wheelbarrow. There it is. <laughs> Looks like it hasn't been used for a little while. So guys, what a beautiful little village. Well worth visiting. Don't forget to like and subscribe and if there's somewhere you'd like me to go, put it in the comments below.